happy to be here at the Nexus Spring Conference. Really happy to be working with Nexus. Um, you know, after seven years, so much has happened. Um, there's so much history behind this project. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's really something that gives me chills. I'm I'm really um, really stoked to be here doing this. And I think that we've got a lot of awesome stuff to share with you guys in the coming months. And uh, let's let's get to this. All right, Podcoin 2021 Nexus Spring Conference, April 2021. There we go. All right, so here's our agenda. We do talk a little bit about our history, um, where we've been, what we've been working on over the last seven years, um, where the cannabis industry has been. Um, how things have matched up between us and the industry. Um, of course, the new Potcoin mission, um, what we are working on now, um, what we are gonna be bringing to the table for the industry, for the, the uh, people that are running small and medium-sized businesses um, and, and what we're gonna do for our ecosystem. Um, yeah, so the next one would be building an ecosystem, use cases and partnerships. And the last one is the future of the cannabis industry and where we see things are going. And, and obviously, um, we've had about seven years to, to really dig into this. Obviously, some of the guys on the team have, have been watching the industry for a lot longer than that, but uh, botcoin has been here for seven years. Bit of history. Um, coin started in January 15th, 2014, um, Minder Genesis block. January 21st, 2014, um, we actually posted everything out for the public to see. Um, everybody was able to start mining at that day. Um, and, you know, the world was, uh, was, was a lot different for, for us over here at Potcoin. Um, we have seen so much stuff happen in the crypto industry, um, blockchain, cannabis, um, over the last seven years. I would say that... Um, Really, the big thing for us is that when this vision came about, um, you know, when Joel and, and Smokey Mountain had the vision of, of creating a, a, a coin for the cannabis industry, the, the, um, you got that? Okay, good. Um, the, um, the world really just wasn't ready for it. Like, it just was not happening. People, people didn't understand what is a cryptocurrency? What is, you know, what, what is blockchain? Um, the average person, the average consumer going to the stores, they didn't understand why it would be better to pay with crypto instead of paying with, you know, with, with cash. Um, a lot of the, the early vendors were excited about it. Um, they were looking for a good solution. Obviously, as you guys know, you know, it's still illegal for federal banking in the United States. Um, Potcoin was looking to solve that issue. Um, and where that, where that leads us, is the theory that we had that crypto currency can solve the financial woes of the cannabis industry. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, we thought that this was going to be the biggest, quickest revolution that everybody was going to want to catch on. And it was just going to be something that was magical and was going to get picked up and, and take off and take off. And yes, a lot of people were excited about it. Um, again, um, the mainstream consumer was just not ready for it. Um, I think in that light, um, some people who were on the tech side of things were excited, but they weren't necessarily um, wanting to download a desktop wallet and, and learn how the wallets worked. And uh, <laughs> there were a lot, of, a lot of new things for people to adjust to that they weren't ready for. Um, again, I just went over this a little bit. Uh, we were created January 15, 2014. Um, by 2015, we had three companies making exclusive Potcoin ATM machines and placing them in dispensaries in Colorado. Um, we had a couple different dispensaries that were, were working with our community on this. And, you know, for us, it just really seemed like it was a fantastic solution. Again, as I said before, the consumers were not ready to, to, to pay with Bitcoin, unfortunately. Um, in 2016, we switched over from proof of work to proof of stake. And um, in 2019, um, it's probably the biggest, one of the biggest events for us since our Genesis block was when we had the death of our lead developer, uh, Snowy13. Um, it's really sparked a complete overhaul for the Potcoin mission. Um, his name is Jim. Jim was, Jim's a fantastic dude, had a couple kids and, uh, you know, was volunteering all of his time towards updating our code and getting things, you know, to where we thought that they should be in terms of what benefits we have for the industry. Unfortunately, when he passed, um, it really made us reevaluate the entire project and try to figure out 
what our next steps were. And I'm not sure, actually, probably a lot of you know, um, trying to find a blockchain developer that you can trust to be part of your team as a volunteer to handle the massive workload that it takes to build that out properly was a massive, massive struggle for us. Um, we had a lot of help from a lot of great people, but those people, un unfortunately, you know, they, they they had other projects, they had other passions, they had other things going on. So um, uh, it was it was hard to find somebody that made sense. So we had decided at this point that we had a new popcorn mission that, you know, after many talks with Jim and the rest of the guys, you know, we realized the popcorn was more of a movement than a blockchain. And and the real reason for that is we believe in the cause overall as a whole. Um, it would not be right for us to sit here and tell you that, you know, any project that Podcoin is working on is the best and the only one, and you shouldn't look at other stuff. We're, we're a community-driven product uh, project, and, and what that means is that, you know, the community has to have its own say. The community has to have its own um, its its own uh, desires and wants, and we're here to help facilitate that. You know, we we look at our project as a tool to help facilitate that. Um, and so, with so many different blockchains, uh, we realized that there was no reason to compete with them. Um, you know, in working together, you know, with the right partners, you can not only provide the needed solutions for the industry and actually get something solid done, which we weren't able to before because the world wasn't ready at that point. Um, now we were able to further the adoption of, of blockchain as a whole. Um, so this this builds us. This brings us to our, our our next situation where we're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go out. We're gonna work with someone else. We need to build a new ecosystem. What are the important things for the cannabis industry? We've got cultivation, processing, analysis and research, manufacturing, distribution, delivering retail, obviously patient feedback, um, consumer feedback, um, and, and then obviously in incentives. Um, our plan for this was to start off by creating value. The Podcoin team and partners are focused on creating value for the consumers, the business owners, the influencers through incentivization. Okay, this is this to me is, is where it all breaks down to proof of stake, um, proof of work. This is what it's about, incentivization. Um, our formula for adoption was what we joke around, we call it SATS. Really, really straightforward. Simple, accessible, transparent, and secure. This is what we need to have something successful for the average person to get involved in crypto and also for the business owners that don't want to take their time to 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 learn and delve into something that's that's extremely complicated and new to them we all understand that that there's so much that can be done with blockchain but for the actual people who are using um the the, the applications um sats is, is is what we feel is the best the best way to uh, achieve adoption uh, we want to we want to build out this this ecosystem by intertwining micro ecosystems. Now everybody understands we have circles. We have our circle on Twitter. We have our circle on Instagram, and they may not be the same. Well, it's the same thing with with organization and companies. And what we want to do is is to take a lot of these innovative new companies that are coming out to the cannabis industry and work with them and join together our community with theirs. Um, we are creating bridges to close the gaps between these micro, micro ecosystems in order to expand the value propositions. So basically, in short, new hardy opportunities brings excitement, brings big interest, uh, brings a lot of people on board. And, and obviously, as we're all here, we know that there's a lot of benefits to what this technology can do and, and, and what benefits it can bring to people on the consumer side as well as the commercial side. Use cases and partnerships. All right, um, love this slide, really excited for this. This is everything that um, we've been working on for a very long time. Um, you know, we would like to take this time to announce that we have our reward platform it's gonna be out this month. We're extremely excited for this. Um, Podcoin Rewards is here and it is our expanded ecosystem. Now, what this means to us, um, you know, as I say here, rewards, rewards, rewards. Today's rewards are tomorrow's dollars. When you are paying for something and you are trading value for value, you know, the line between what is a reward and what is a dollar, it becomes start to be very blurred. You know that you're trading value that you have in your hands or in your wallet, for example, and you're trading that for, for value in some other way, whether it's flour, medicine, however you want to look at it. 
The biggest problem we found with business owners accepting cryptocurrency is that they just did not have the education around it. Many uh, Canada business owners were afraid of tax issues. Um, they've, they've spent tons and tons of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, building out their grows, building out their, getting their licenses, jumping through hoops, making sure that the government is, is, is okay with everything. The last thing that they really wanted to do was to potentially jeopardize this. Now this is going all the way back to 20, 2015. Um, nowadays, obviously we're seeing, we're seeing that people are a lot more lighter. People are a lot more accepting of it. Um, there are some states you can pay for your taxes in crypto. Um, so there, there's a lot, a lot of things that are happening on this front. But from our perspective, we don't want to limit the amount of, of uh, potential business that we can have for Podcoin. Uh, this is a community project and it's supposed to be here for everyone in the community. Uh, by creating a reward platform, this way we can drive traffic to various partners through incentivization. Um, it's very easy for someone that's got a point of sale system that's in a dispensary working, it's very easy for them to attach to a reward platform and not worry about complicated issues with their with their um with their accountants on taxes and you know whether or not there's going to be any issues in terms of of if they're accepting a, a straight up cryptocurrency so by approaching it in in a rewards platform we're able to get our foot in the door be, before anybody else and sort of get people used to using the brand used to being part of the community and used to used to um having clients come in and, and be incentivized to work with them um so we felt that this was in an absolutely uh, wonderful first approach and and this is this is really going to be the start of our focus on the um on the on the personal consumer consumer level and you'll see you'll see that as we're coming out here all right so in announcing that we have a rewards platform that's coming out this month um i'm very excited to let you guys know that we've just done a partnership with buddy jane buddy jane is available on the app store um they are a wonderful cannabis based social app and they've got a lot of fantastic plans that we see that their developers are, are building out currently um, they're going to be working with Podcoin rewards exclusively and through our tech partnership with buddy jane we're able to leverage their social ecosystem um, business owners are currently giving discounts for promotions um, for example 420 we know that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be having promotions well what what are we able to all for those businesses well with buddy jane we're able to start driving traffic to their businesses and instead of them just giving a straight discount they can now accept pot coins so they're getting something that they weren't able to receive before um, when the business owners have received the pot coin rewards uh, they can then pay for things in the buddy jane jane apps such as in-app advertising um, with the rewards that they've earned so where they were just giving discounts before and saying hey you know uh 20 percent off on 420 now they're saying well you know 20 percent off of 420 or maybe 30 percent off with with popcoin rewards depending on how they want to they want to work it and at that point they're able to take popcoin rewards and turn around and and make something more profitable for their business not only that by attaching a social media app to their actual business they're able to get feedback and data like they were never able to get before where they're able to see, oh, I spent X amount on advertising in an app. I know that I targeted market, target marketed. I know that I'm putting this out to people who are in the, you know, um, Northern California area in, in this area. By the way, just, just, just for those of you who may have questions, Buddy Jane does not take your exact location. They take a general location. Um, and, and in that, we're able to take that traffic. We're out, we're able to find those people, find out what their interests are without being too invasive and, and, and actually, you know, say, Hey, you know, Thursday night, there's, there's a, you know, a discount going to be at this dispensary. We're giving out popcorn rewards for this event here, head over to this, this dispensary and get your products at, at such and such percent off. Um, currently buddy Jane has about 9,000 active users. It's only via word, word of mouth. They have not activated marketing um, and they're only available at the app store. But um, I heard a little birdie say this week that, that they've got some really great developments on their iOS and their desktop version. Um, and uh, they, that should be out um, pretty, pretty darn soon. Um, also, there's a lot of celebrities that are, that are hopping on board with Buddy Jane. Um, I know Cheech Marin for Cheech and Chong is on there. 
Uh, we're very excited to be getting him some, some, some pot coin rewards. Um, just so you guys know as well, every single person who is in that app, all active 9,000 users are going to be receiving some pot coin rewards right away as soon as we go live, um, which is, is not today. It's going to be when the next release comes out of their application. So um, we are extremely stoked about this. We feel that this is going to be the, the first step towards achieving some sort of adoption. And um, there will also be some in-game incentivization, uh, sorry, in-app incentivization. Um, so people will be able to send the currency back and forth between themselves and within the app and uh, be motivated to do that. All right. So this is just a quick prof process flow. Um, I went through most of the stuff, but I'll read it quickly. Um, Popcoin partners with Buddy Jane and Buddy Jane is giving tokens to their accounts. Now, this means that all you guys have to do is sign up to Buddy Jane. And as soon as you sign up, again, as soon as the app is the full, full version is ready, which is going to be very soon. Um, you're going to get free Popcoin rewards in the app um, because constituents are offered discounts, dispensaries and delivery services for using Popcoin rewards. Business owners who are given the discount now for free um, are now have Popcoin rewards for free. And um, yeah, I guess I can go over this quickly. Uh, the businesses can now pay Buddy Jane for in-app advertising and perks using Popcoin rewards. Buddy Jane can give them, then give those coins back to new signups and influencers or businesses as rewards and incentivization. So let's say, for example, that, you know, um, Cheech was signing up tomorrow and Buddy Jane decided, oh, well, we want to put some of these Popcoin rewards in Cheech's account so he could give, him, give them out to some of his followers. Um, this is definitely something that is, is being um, decided on now as we speak, and it's something that they are building into their, into their platform. Uh, Buddy Jane in the future will activate withdrawals so users can swap out Podcoin for the Podcoin that is on chain. Um, as you know, there, there are some issues with the legalities for working and doing all of this on, on, on chain. So what we did is we had to sort of go around the, the the boundaries a little bit, if you will, and create a coin that is centralized and is off chain. But I want you all to know that every single reward point is valued at one for one for the pot coin that is is on the chain. The swap module has also been built out so anyone can take a reward point and send it in and have have pot, pot coin reward a uh, pot coin on the chain in their in their Nexus wallet. Um, we understand that this. Our main motivation behind this is to give new users their first crypto experience. Now, again, we got to go slowly. We got to get back to SaaS. It's got to be simple. It's got to be accessible. Um, it's got to be transparent. And it's got to be secure. So these keeping keeping these four things in mind, this is how we built this out. And we know that by doing this, it makes it extremely easy, not only for the user, but also for the company to turn around and accept the reward point. Um, as I said before, through our partnership, we can drive traffic um, from Buddy Jane and new dispensaries that are accepting Popcoin rewards. Um, we have a few unannounced partnerships that are in the works that will allow Buddy Jane and Popcoin community to help fund new cannabis ventures. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail. I think some of you guys in the Telegram chat have, have heard a couple of the whispers. Um, there, there are some people that we are talking to um, about um, being able to help fund new cannabis ventures. Um, through the Podcoin and Buddy Jane community. Um, and it's very exciting because, as you know, finding funding in, in, in the United States and in, in certain areas of the world um, currently for, for the cannabis industry is next to near impossible. Um, this formula that we're working on here can be plugged into many other online retailers and micro economies. Um, we've been speaking you know, to the guys over at strainreviews.com. They're building a wonderful, fantastic site. Jason's over there working hard. Um, and and we're, we're, we're discussing the possibility of, of adding Podcoin rewards also to their site. Um, so people will be able to get go on and do some reviews and, um, and make some Podcoin for it. Um, okay, so this is, this is the next big, big step for us. How do we get all this done? Um, Nexus was our chain of choice. It was our family of choice. It was our community of choice. The reason why we wanted to go to Nexus um, well, actually, if I'm really going to go into that, there's, there's many reasons, but um, I'd say some of the few just to touch, to touch the, the, the tip of the iceberg today. Um, listen, if we don't have anything unless it's scalable, if we can't have a system that works, that is affordable, that is scalable, 
The bottom line is nothing else is going to work. Everything that we try to put together will absolutely fail. Um, and we're just, we just don't want to head down one of those situations where, yeah, okay, it's going to work for now, you know, but once, once you start having a, a massive amount of transactions, you need a core development team that can handle that and a chain that can handle that. And, and that's, that's where it gets really interesting with Nexus for us. This is one of the first things that we, we, we talked about with those guys. Um, you know, while scalability is the crux for most blockchains, thanks to our partnership with Nexus, Popcoin now has the ability to meet the explosive dem demands of the global cannabis industry on chain without the governments and security risks that only layer two solutions imply. Now, I, I know some of you guys understand what we're talking about with that. Um, those of you who, who may be a little bit less um, crypto educated, blockchain educated, um, essentially, as I said before, we need something that can push out to the community um, that can get, really get us rocking and rolling and able to handle those transactions. We're not interested in setting ourselves up for any type of failure. Um, and that's why Nexus was, was a, one of the reasons why they were a perfect match for us. Um, smart contracts, conditional smart contracts independently and immutably maintain regulatory compliance contractual agreements, asset assurances, and the necessary criteria, criteria to provide safe and protected <coughs> cannabis free from error and wrongdoing. Smart contracts, as most of you know, it, it is gonna be a major, major tool for us. We absolutely need this. If we're gonna do any sort of real business um, in the industry, this is one of the tools that just makes the difference for us. Um, the attributes of a plot coin contract is, consist of time expirations, sequential events, and similar operations requiring automation, integrity, and fraud resistance. Um, again, when augmented contracts are available, cannabis developers are in for a surprise uh, as the current plot coin conditional smart contracts will be augmented to allow deeper access via API for a broader array, a, array of creative tools. This is something that we're gonna need on many levels, obviously, um, once, once we get into the nitty gritty of some of the things that we're building out, which I don't wanna go into today, um, it's, it's gonna be very clear what we're using these tools for. Um, on the light side, again, seed to sale. Um, this, is, this is a problem that the industry has. And yes, there are lots of people working on this. I'm extremely, extremely confident that, that our seed to sale system is going to be something that nobody has thought about before or worked on. We're coming at it from a completely different angle. Um, you know, the Popcoin S2S identifier repertoire uh, includes advanced multi-signature hashes, watermarks, biological identifiers, and much more eventually delivered on decentralized storage. Now, as you can see, all of this stuff has been built out by Nexus, and this, these are some of the tools that we really need to make the difference. Um, Popcoin smart contracts, token, and assets are going to combine to provide a cannabis seed to sale supply chain, even with P2P functionality where it's desired. Um, and I think that that hints a little bit as to what we have in plan, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, all about the dApps. Popcoin is now capable of storing cannabis DAP information on mutable and immutable registers. This provides cannabis designers and developers with the ability to use blockchain for new objectives. Um, the flexibility of mutable registers also improves Popcoin's ability to satisfy the requirements of cross-regulatory cannabis landscapes. We are at such a strange time in history. Um, the legalization for, for, for cannabis and, and, and the regulation has just taken painfully long for, for so many people that, that it's, it's, it's a real mess. It's a real, real ball of string. Um, cannabis specified DAP development is now achievable with a comprehensive set of simplified application programming interfaces, obviously APIs, uh, including a first to market bubble.io plugin for fast tracking MVP prototypes. Um, the partnership that, that Nexus has with Bubble um, is, is gonna be something that we are expecting many people to build out on and, and to get involved with. Um, there are solutions there that are really gonna help change and push the innovation. And this is really what it's about. If, if this project is a community project, we expect that as we start getting out into the industry, um, people who have been in the industry are gonna have fantastic ideas and we needed an environment that could support that build. We need an environment that could take that innovation and people can come to us and say, oh, we've got this idea for innovation and, and you know, for, for, for an app or, or um, something that, that, you know, an MVP that we want to build out. And it, again, this, this, is, this is a perfect place for us, for us to be. 
Um, we really feel that the innovation in the cannabis industry is going to be starting this year. Um, and, and there's a lot of fantastic, fantastic projects that are coming up. A lot of people have reached out to us. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting a little too ahead of myself because I'm excited, but uh, I, can't, I can't help that. <laughs> the new PodCoin network offers unparalleled extensibility with unique modular capabilities, including desktop and mobile frameworks, enabling novel peer-to-peer -peer decentralized applications to be developed expeditiously. Um, as you guys all know, Nexus has been working really hard. These are, these are tools that we need in order to um, have the start of, of, of our new year. And um, we're really excited that this is gonna, that this is gonna, this is gonna be the foundation blocks that we're putting into building out this ecosystem. NFTs, obviously right now, NFTs are so hot. Everybody's excited about them. Um, you know, with non-fungible tokens, um, you know, fever, it's at an all-time high. Um, we're able to exploit this elevation on, on a wide variety of digital and physical cannabis-related assets, including quality assurances. I don't want to get, to get too far ahead of myself with this as well, but we're going to have news extremely soon um, about some, some really interesting stuff using commercial use cases for NFTs. Um, so we have some really exciting uh, stuff in the NFT space that's going to be coming out. And to balance that off, we have some really fun, fun projects in the NFT space that I think are going to get a lot of people excited about what we're doing. And we really want to use these fun projects as an open door, as, as opening a door so that people can understand more about what we're building out, what we're trying to build out. Um, always, always searching for that balance, um, trying to keep the the, the, the tech development and the fun always, always balancing and catching up with each other. All right, future of the cannabis industry. Now, this is, this is, uh, this is where we're at now. Um, cannabis market statistics, 17 UF states have legalized recreational cannabis. 36 states have approved it for medical use. 68% of Americans favor legal, legalizing the recreational marijuana industry. Um, I could go on with these stats. They're really, um, you know, I expected more 10 years ago because I expected it to be quicker, but I am so happy that we are at a place where we are today, where these are, are the stats um, with, with the growth rate, you know, as, as, it, as it's coming. Um, and again, we are at a, a certain um, merging of, of, of industries here well, we have approximately 10% of Americans currently owning cryptocurrencies. I wish I could have told you that years ago. I wish, um, you know, when 2014 that that was the situation. It was not. We are there now. Um, so let's 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 get this started. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, this is it. You know, the world is catching on. Um, this this was in Vegas. You know, in the paper, um, Vegas Inc. Business. Can cryptocurrency solve cannabis's financial needs? You know, as these years go on, we see much more, much more interest in this. And we really feel that there are not many people out there that have a solid tech solution for this. Um, and, and we're here to build this out and build this out with Nexus as our tech partners. Um, the PodCoin, the next generation cannabis ecosystem, now has the tools to pr pr improve consumer advocacy, public safety, and generate economic value through alternative finance, social equity, small business, and support community participation. This is so important to us. Everything starts with the individual. Everything starts with the community. And uh, this is going to be an awesome year. <laughs> just want to say thank you to everyone. I think my time is just about up here. I wish I could spend another four hours talking with all you. Um, real big thank out, thank you to the Nexus and the Nexus community. Um, Colin, Jules, everybody over at Nexus has been so awesome to us. Um, we're really looking forward to, to digging in and uh, getting this party started and uh, uh, looking, looking forward to onboarding a ton of partners that are ready and ready to do this. So have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, everyone, and I will be watching. Thank you. Thank you so much, Josh. We have a couple of uh, questions from the community if you, if you would like to ask them. Uh, the first one is, um, do you see if there's a need for uh, a stable coin on PotCoin? Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> it's a very good question. So this is something that we have been talking about for years. 
Um, you know, volatility was the second factor, it was the biggest challenge, um, you know, back when dispensaries were really pushing into to, to, to accept um, crypto. And, you know, back in the early days, people didn't really understand, you know, volatility. We didn't understand volatility. There hadn't been a bull run like there was. So um, looking back at things, I definitely say that um, some sort of stable coin is necessary for that. Absolutely. Is there another question? Um, there's one more. I think the question is, would you be open to sharing some of the supply chain technology ideas that you have or once they're built with other partners um organic farmers those kind of people in the in the cannabis ecosystem um i have a lot of this this has been it's something that hits home with me um and I can't go too much into detail for the partnerships and stuff that we have coming up, but I, I, I promise you that we've got some real heavy hitters who have been um, in the industry for a very long time, who are working closely with us on solutions on, on it's on the tip of my tongue, I'm not going to go there yet, um, on solutions that are going to help for the, for the seed to sale system. Um, I wish that I could tell you more, but until all of the pieces are in place, um, it's something that we want to keep to ourselves because it's not just it's not just us involved. There's other people who have a lot a lot at stake with this, and they're putting a lot of time and energy into it. And, and for us to to run out and talk about it would, would be doing them a bit of an injustice. Even though I'm excited for it. <laughs> so um, seed to sale stuff is going to be coming. It's going to be coming up soon. It's going to be released in in multiple steps. And I think that as soon as we um, go through with our first partnership um, publicly, I think that you guys are going to understand exactly where we want to take this and why we've chosen that direction. And I promise you it's in left field. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much, Josh. Thank you so much. Please. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. See you then. Bye.